Hello my YouTube friends! There are so many cool tricks that you can do on chat with your live stream. Today I'm going to show you. But the big one is the ability to add chat to your stream, especially if you multi-stream. Having chat on your screen is a way that everyone can see all the chat across all the different platforms. It's really easy and free too, so you know what? Let's get to it! It's an easy install on this one. It's actually a browser extension for Chrome called Social Stream Ninja. There are links in the description so you can download it, install it, and follow along. That is the best way to learn. So you know what? Let's install it. This is the page that you're going to go to to get this. And you can just click jump to the download instructions right here. Right here is your download instructions to install. So if you're using Firefox, you're going to click here. It's a little bit different. If you're using just the usual Chrome, go ahead and click here and it's going to download for you. Now, one of the things that you're going to want to do is go up here into your extensions and you can manage extensions and you want to just make sure that you've got your developer mode on and you can see I already have it in here. So when you download it, I'm just going to unzip it. So what you're going to do once you have it unzipped is you're going to go ahead and click load unpacked and you're just going to select the actual directory and then you select the folder. I'm just going to load this in here and you're probably going to get this error and as long as that error is this right here you're perfectly fine and it actually tells you all this in the instructions so if you run into any kind of problems you should be good to go but once you're done you're going to have your extension loaded in here you just make sure that it's turned on and then you're gonna see up here you uh, you have your extensions and what I like to do is just make sure that it's one of the extensions that is actually physically loaded so you can see it and you can pin it right here so that you could see it or not see it. So it's really easy to load it up. And there we go. So now we have our Social Stream Ninja in here. All you have to do is click this right here to make the extension active. And then we are ready to go. And you can see it's pretty big. There is a lot of things for me to show you here, but you're gonna love them all. Now let me show you how to add it to your stream and all of the cool features that you can use. So let's walk through what this stuff does. Right here is your streaming chat dockable. So this is what's going to enable you to select chat and it's also what's going to enable you to put chat on your screen. It does two different things. Now I have mine set up to horizontal but you can also set it up regular. So what horizontal will do is it will just have the chat scrolling along a line bar on your screen. And what vertical will do or the regular will do is um, have it regular. And you can find all that sort of stuff in styling. So right now I have horizontal scrolling message. And you're gonna see the link right here says horizontal. But if I change this, the link will change and horizontal is no longer there. So you can actually do both styles if you wanted to um, and just re remove that horizontal piece at the end and it will you know, it'll allow you to display both varieties if you like. So if we wanted to do a horizontal, we'll just go ahead and we'll copy the link address here and we're gonna go into OBS and here I have a basic scene set up. So we'll just click on this and we're gonna go to browser and we'll call this chat and click OK. And then we can just put our chat in here. And then what we want to do is set this up so it's the size that we want. So maybe 1080 and then the height will be 50. There we go. So that's the height. We're going to need it to be longer than that. So we're going to go into properties and we'll put it at 1920 because that's what the width of our scene is. So now our chat will scroll across the screen. So how do you make this chat work? Well, let's go ahead in here and we'll see our chat right here. In order to get this chat to work in OBS, all we have to do is pop out our chat. And there we go. And then if we type something in here, we should see it in our OBS right there. 
As you can see, it has a little YouTube tag there as well. So if you are using Twitch or whatever, it's going to have the tag for wherever the person posted it. So if we wanted to change this up, we could go in here and instead of having the horizontal, we can actually remove this and we can do, we can do it like this. And let's see here. So let's go back. Go ahead and remove the horizontal. I don't remember if the ampersand is there when we remove it. Yes, so it is. So that's where I messed that up. So what I have to do is go here and put that little ampersand there because that is actually a part of that. And there we go. So now what we should be able to do is go into our chat and still get our messages and they'll just fill up this box instead. So you see how, you know, filling out these boxes, it's going to be a matter of you deciding what your width and your height is. So 800 by 1080 would probably be what we want. And there we go. We filled up that whole section there. And so our text will just scroll down from the top. Now, what if we wanted to add text or we wanted to select text from here that we add on the screen. Well, to do that, we're gonna use a dock. So all we have to do is go ahead and select docs right here, and we're going to create a custom browser dock. And you can see I already have Social Ninja in here, but what you'll do is you'll just go into your Social Ninja right here, and you're going to go ahead and copy this link and then you're going to go into OBS under your docs and you'll call it what you want. Put that in here and you click apply and then you're going to have your doc. And it will probably pop out right there, but if it doesn't, you can go in here, just select the one you want and put it wherever, wherever you need it to be. And then expand it out. And this works pretty much the same as the other one. So when we type something in our chat it will appear in there and then what we're able to do is actually physically select this and it will put it on our screen how are we going to do that well let's go back in here and we are going to go to our featured chat overlay we're going to go ahead and copy that it's just the next one down we're going to go back in here and what we're going to do is click the plus browser we'll just call this one featured chat and click OK and we'll just paste that in there and 800 by 600 is fine you can change up the height and width on this as well if you like and so now now you can see boom it's going to select our chat so everyone who chats over here, you can just click on that right here in your social stream ninja box on the side and it will actually display that chat on the screen. You can move it anywhere you like. So one other super cool feature that I want to show you about the chat ninja. It's one of my favorite ones because my audience just absolutely loves to use it and it's called the emotes wall. So let's go ahead and copy this out. And what I'm going to do is go back into OBS and I'm just going to go ahead and click the plus. We're going to do another browser source. I'm going to call this one emotes and then I'm going to paste it in here. And instead of doing this, we're going to make it the full size of the screen and we're going to click OK. And there we go. So it doesn't look like it's doing anything. But if we go over here into our chat window and we use some emotes, we can just go nuts and do lots of emotes. And then we go ahead and click this. You can see those emotes fly all over the screen. It, it's just fun. It's a fun thing. My audience loves to do it. Uh, maybe you don't want emotes being spammed on your live stream. I totally get that. But it's fun. Anytime that I say something goofy or silly, the audience will put all these emotes that'll then just splash all over the screen. So that's what the emotes wall is. So now you understand how to use this, how to set it up and how to put it in your stream. Um, there are some things I'm not gonna show you today like the hype meter and the wait list. 
and then you have global settings and all that sort of stuff. But each of these, the dockable chat, the featured chat, and the emotes wall have different settings that you can put in here that can change. Like you can limit to 10 emotes at a time. You can slow down the messages. You could double the emotes movement speed. All of these things are pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory things that you can do to change up your emotes wall. Your featured chat overlay, which is when you select the chat right here, it will show up right here. So that featured chat overlay, you can actually modify in all kinds of meaningful ways. You can go in here and make it smaller. Uh, you can make it a green background, split mode, um, you know, the mechanics, how it works. Um, and enable text to speech so that you can have it speak all of that stuff right directly to your thing. Uh, for donation only, you can use it. Do not say, says, you know, so you can mess around with the text to speech aspect of it if you'd like that. You can change up the visibility so you can show the icons where they where they messaged from, um, their channel icon, you can hide their avatar, show them, hide badges, first names only, all that sort of stuff. You can change the style by aligning to the top, rounding the edges, or all that sort of stuff. So basically all of this is just a different way for this stuff to dis display, fade in and out as an effect and you have all of the same things with your streaming chat which is your streaming chat would be this stuff right up here and it also controls some of the effects that happen over here because of course it's dockable so it's the same on both sides so you've got your menu so you can hide the menu bar at the bottom of the dockable thing overlays all this kind of stuff just gives you more ways to change or fix everything. So you can have it read text to speech as well with the chat. You can change message visibility, styling, add effects. You can even have it export messages to a text file so you can read all of your chat later if you want. And you can have it hide and show bots and all kinds of really cool things. So basically, Social Stream Ninja is a one-stop shop for everything that you could possibly want to do with the chat on your live stream. It's just a fantastic tool. I told you it was an awesome tool. If you want to see another tool by the same developer that allows you to add guests pretty easily to your OBS live stream, you should check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, Subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.